Okay, today I'm trying to create a book light, do it yourself book light on one stand. And actually, I already created it as you can see. And as a bounce, I'm using cheap five in one reflector. And at the moment, the bounce is the white side. And as a diffusion, I'm actually using IKEA shower curtain. This one is Bjarsen, and the cost is two dollars. I already created a video about them, but you probably haven't watched it. And the other one is Ludhock Torn. This one is for five bucks, and I will swap them during the test. This is the book light when the bounce and diffusion comes at an angle, and you also have a light at an angle bouncing and then going into the diffusion. Maybe I would have to adjust the light. I will see. But generally, I shot something already and it creates quite nice light. Quite flat, but also interesting. And at the top, I got the flag created from the from the styrofoam board and I'm using white side, the other side is black. So it is cutting most of the light from the ceiling, but there is some spill on the ceiling only and there is no spill to the size. Uh, maybe there is some spill on the bookshelf back there, but it's really minimal and I could probably prevent the spill if I got a rectangular bounce, but I got the oval one only. So this is Amaran 300C and it should be enough for this setup, although it depends on your settings. I will use Sony and A7 IV at f2.8 35mm S-Log3 and as you can see I got two practicals. One practical is the fireplace and the other practical is a lamp and the lamp is uh, kind of warm. It's like 3200 kelvins and that's why I got a I got a hair light mot motivated by this practical and it is tube light set to 2500 kelvin but uh, it's not very accurate it's really cheap tube light so it's even it's even probably colder than than the practical so i will try to expose this at 1.3 stops over as you should for the for the s log and we'll see and also i will swap the bounces so this is the white one then i got the i got the gold one on the other side and i got silver one inside so i have to i have to swap this bounce few times and then i will also swap the diffusion for the other one i think the other one is is nicer but this one is cheaper it's two bucks the other one is five not much of a difference but i'm checking both maybe some combination of the diffusion and the bounce would be better with this one hard to say a few more things about the setup i'm using the original reflector from the amaran because this one is creates a tighter beam of light and the problem is uh, it's a bit problematic because this creates some hot spot on the bounce i tried godox reflector but since it is wider it hits the diffusion directly and creates another hot spot on the diffusion without bouncing from the bounce so actually so actually the original one is better in this scenario but the the con is that there is some kind of the hot spot and also what is problematic about this shower curtain is that there are some creases here so since it was packed tightly and folded 10 times there are creases which maybe they would even out over time but at the moment this creates uneven light on the other side you can see that, that whenever there when there is a crease there is a shadow so that's the con of this chip of this chip diffusion probably i could like spread it really tight using sandbags and clamps but i'm kind of afraid that i can tear it apart so i guess i would like I won't so I guess I won't fold it again but I would like roll it and store it that way so maybe the creases will uh, will disappear over time but at the moment the creases are a bit problematic but since it's a big, really big diffusion area that shouldn't be big of a problem but it creates a bit uneven light 
I got my trusty Seconic as a light meter and also Ninja to expose, to see the exposure with the false colors. And also got the X-Rite color checker, so I can actually at the end color grade everything that it looks the same even with the different diffusions and and different bounces but I want to see what is the difference the camera is set to 5500 Kelvin and the light also as a white balance so we'll see what looks it creates so let's shoot and see okay so this is the Bjorsen diffusion and white bounce and the exposure is at 1.3 and exposure is at 1.3 stops over I checked with the Seconic I checked this side of my face so I want this side of my face to be overexposed by this 1.3 stops it looks okay when I monitor with the PQ I cannot remove this armchair from the shot because there is a lot of crap in my living room but I think the shot is not that bad and as you can see there is practical and when I move my head to this position I got some reflection of the of the hair light which is probably not very flattering but I should like keep my head straight not look on this monitor but look into the lens and then it would be fine and this is the look the two dollars diffusion from IKEA creates with the white bounce and uh, Amaran 300C is running at at 55% or 56 uh, yeah it's running at 56% to get the got that exposure so actually I still got some room and I still got that reflection but it was it was also kind of hard to place the rim slash hair light because as you can see there are frames behind me and actually there is some reflection of the of the key light but I managed to eliminate the hair light from the reflection but the key light is still there uh, they usually the either mirrors uh, windows or frames with glass are kind of annoying in such scenarios so I can help it but this is the first setup and there are there are five setups to go so let's see how it goes now I got the golden bounce and as you can see the light is definitely yellow I'm not changing the I'm not changing the white balance is in the camera and and in the light so you can also see that that some light is going to the the diffusion directly because there are some white streaks of light because of these creases so that's why these creases are kind of annoying but other than that the exposure dropped by one third of the stop so I have to compensate the power of the light and I will see how this looks like on the screen some people like this golden look so that might be actually okay and so actually some people might like that golden look actually that someone may think is motivated by the fireplace it is probably more consistent with the fireplace having that warmer look but I'm not sure maybe it is too warm let's see so I have to compensate for the exposure let me check with the Seconic okay so this is the look with the Bjorsen $2 diffusion and golden bounce on the screen it looks kind of nice although although my skin is kind of orange or yellow so not that natural but maybe someone might think it's motivated by the by the fireplace so so it doesn't look bad it's just a different look and actually probably using the bounce card I can get it to the same look as before but I will see in post and of course I got a for some reason I got the butterfly flying really big one hello and actually the butterflies flies and other insects are not flying to the light there is a scientific explanation on why they fly into the light they basically navigate based on sun and moon and they are fooled that uh, this big 
lies or is, is the sun or a moon and that's why they fly into they actually circle it because they they navigate based on the position of the sun or a moon and since it is a really small source of light they they circle it because they try to navigate and they are confused so that's why so i'm going to switch to the silver one and then I'll, i'm going to switch the the diffusion to the to the five dollars one which is Ludo Thorn. And I guess I have to catch the butterfly and let him go because he's a bit annoying. Change the bounce to the silver side and actually it doesn't seem much different than, than, the, than the white one and exposure went up so I have to fix the exposure and still the creases are kind of annoying because they create this, this wavy wavy pattern on the on the diffusion but I have to readjust the exposure for the silver bounce so it seems that silver reflection is more powerful than the white one and I have to lower the light output to 46% to get 1.3 and this exposure measured by the camera is kind of on par with what I got here on my face but it's better to check i think it's better to check here and i will also run the color card to see how this looks like actually that's the look with the silver one and two two dollars diffusion from ikea i will put the names of the shower curtains into the description so if you like the look you can buy them i think i think they are quite nice for the money so if you cannot afford the professional diffusion, it's the way to go. And actually, and actually, this setup is on rolling stand, so I can move it around. I don't have much room here to move it even, but if you are on a bigger set, you can move this around and move from location to location, and you don't have to build it from scratch. So actually, that, that setup, I'd say it's kind of nice. So now I will swap the diffusion, and we'll see which if the other one creates better look the other one is stronger so i will have to adjust the power of the light and maybe with the golden bounce it won't be powerful enough to properly expose but hard to say and exposure is f2.8 180 degrees shutter angle and iso 800 because this is s log 3 Okay, so now it is the other diffusion from IKEA. It is Luthatorn shower curtain, which cost five bucks. It is denser diffusion, and there are no vertical creases, but there are more of the horizontal creases. And I will try to roll this one after using it and do not push it, so maybe this creases will disappear over time but so exposure dropped a bit because this one is denser so I have to I have to compensate probably and this is the silver bounce so Luthathorn and and the butterfly is here flying into the into the diffusion He's kinda nice, but he just woke up from the from the winter sleep and he will probably die soon. So this is sad, but this is the nature. So I will try to adjust the exposure to have the proper one, but it seems it is almost proper one. So let me check with the light meter. Okay, so exposure is readjusted. It is 1.3 over. So at 4.3, that's the look that Lukaton shower curtain creates. The curtain from IKEA for five bucks with silver bounce. And this is the book light setup, which I'd say is kind of nice. And you can probably see in the reflection that there is the, the reflection is more silver than before and that is the look it creates and so I'd say that actually this book light is 
really nice. Now I have to change the bounce to white and gold to check with this diffusion. That butterfly is kind of noisy. I will try to catch him and release him because I guess he struggles a bit, but not sure. It's it's warm enough outside, but I think it is. It's like 10 plus degrees, so he should be fine. So now it is the white bounce and Lutkatorn diffusion from IKEA, and there is maybe some small spot, hot spot on the diffusion, but generally it is quite even and with the silver one with this diffusion uh, with the silver bounce the light was at 48 percent and now with the white one the exposure is a bit lower so i guess i have to go back to 50 something and 57 seems to be and 57 percent seems to be okay with this setup and and the bounce card looks like that. I probably shouldn't cover any any of the colors. Maybe I have to do this like that. To don't, don't have a finger inside. I won't finger my color card. So this is how it looks like with this setup. And the power is 57%. And this is how Luthatorn shower curtain from IKEA and the uh, white bounce set up to create a book light looks like and I'd say it the look is quite okay. And I'm going to switch to the last one to gold one and actually the butterfly is released. He happily flew away really high. So I hope he's happy now and he can lay his eggs or whatever and continue his and continue his life and probably die soon but that's the nature of butterflies so going to switch to the last look then later today I will compare them on my computer and see which one is the nicest or which one is proper to which situation I guess this is the, the whitest one the the coolest one is good for corporate stuff because that like corporate is always using that setup less contrasty and really washed out so probably but I guess this yellow one with the golden reflector would be would be kind of nice to emulate this fireplace look so which is kind of weird because I'm sitting with my back to the to the fireplace but this is what our brain usually thinks when there is a fire everything should look a bit yellow or orange or red so so I guess maybe this golden one would be would be actually nice for these practicals okay and this is last look the exposure dropped it looks a bit different with this diffusion there are some whiter spots and golden spots, but it probably depends how it reflects from the gold reflector because the, if the reflector is uneven, then then the reflections got kind of different colors. But as you can see, first of all, it is underexposed now uh, compared to previous shots. And also it is the light is much more yellowish. And anyway, that's how the how the diffusion looks like with this setup and now I have to adjust the exposure before it was 60 something now let's try at 69 spot on but it looks on the screen a bit darker when I monitor on, on Atomos so the look is a bit different and definitely definitely my skin is more golden or yellowish or orange so this is the look with the Lutha Thorn golden reflector Amaran 300C at 69% and camera auto white balance and Amaranth is at 5500 Kelvin I can even see that white parts of the balance card are kinda yellowish 
and the fireplace is running nice now and that's the look and that's the last look so I'd say for this fireplace the golden look might be actually the most accurate but generally probably one of the white ones or so silver or white one would be better and the silver reflector is beneficial if your light is not powerful enough so I guess with the silver one and this setup you can go with Amaran 150 running at 100% and you should be okay and you still should be okay and what is actually nice about this Amaran 300 it's not that loud even though it is running between 50 and 70 percent the, the the fan is turned on but it's not very loud I don't know maybe maybe it would be more audible on the on the mic and I have to say that I kind of like the result but I have to see this on a big screen to judge it but from the Atomos perspective it looks kind of nice so so that's the plus although it would be nicer to have big Atomos behind the camera so I can look into the lens and still see the setup but it is what it is and I can actually move the whole setup except the light on one stand so it is kind of nice that you can build this with cheap elements so this is like 200 bucks C stand there is one extension arm which was like 20 bucks or less and and the uh, five in one reflector for 20 bucks and five bucks diffusion from ikea and my styrofoam and my styrofoam a flag which was free because something has been packaged with it so so that's do it yourself book light setup and it's getting there and i kind of like it although i don't like the creases on the on the diffusion but i guess over time the creases would disappear so that would be uh, that would be kind of okay so that's it i'm going to check which one looks the best and share this on youtube all the footage shown before has been graded with a simple S-Log3 to Rec. 709 LUT and the exposure compensation to bring back the highlights. But since I've used the color card for each shot, I can also match S-Log3 to Rec. 709 using the card. But during the matching process in DaVinci, you have to state your source white balance, which is not that easy for the golden reflector because it changes the temperature of the light completely. I can kind of guess it, but I'm not sure my guess is accurate. So here are comparisons of all the looks, also with different conversions to Rec. 709, plus false colors for each look. Let me know in the comments which one you like the most and cheers mate!